Okay guys, I just got in from work. I'm going to light my new barbecue and uh, sitting in the fridge is uh, some Taste of Trini recipe jerk chicken. So we'll show you how that goes. Yeah, one trick I use um, when I'm lighting the barbecue is one I picked up from the barbecue pit boys and that's just to light only half of one side of your barbecue and if you've got if you've got a divider put that in to keep everything over in one corner then you've got a hot side and you've got a cool side and then once everything's cooked you can if you've got one of these shelf things you can just put it up down there to rest I'm a big fan of actual uh, lumpwood charcoal barbecues I, I just believe the, the flavour comes out better than the gas ones and uh, I think I think a, a lot of people probably would agree with that. Um, one thing to do is, is uh, uh, once you light your barbecue, make sure all the flames die down to white ash before you even start cooking, and then uh, and then you'll be good to go. The last thing you want to be doing is uh, eating all the uh, unspent hydrocarbons that come off uh, unburnt uh, lighter fuel or lighting fuel. So I'll be getting this on as soon as that's ready to go. Okay, the coals are just about there. Let's get some of this chicken on. First of all, I'm going to get it straight over the direct heat to give it a good sear. Put on the bigger pieces first. And about it for the big ones. Uh, maybe some chill sticks on there. And in here, what we have is the remainder of the marinade. And of course we don't want to waste that, do we? Tip that into a saucepan and then thicken that up with a teaspoon or so of cornstarch mixed with um, just with water. Okay, gastronauts, I've just given it a uh, a turnover, the first turn. I just want to sear it all over before I shut the lid and cook it through. Um, so listen up, gastronauts. If you've never had jerk chicken, you're missing something out of your life. Okay, so make sure you give this a try. I'm going to put the link to the recipe uh, down below, and I got the recipe off Tasted Trini, and I know it's going to work well because all her recipes work fabulously. And this is going to turn out something wicked. And I can't wait to get my teeth into it. That's cooking up something fierce now. So I'm going to just uh, take that out of the way for now. And um, um, close the lid for a minute. Okay, I need to keep checking it. don't want anything to be uh, burning here. It will darken very quickly because there's sugar in the recipe and that caramelizes, but that's all part of jerk chicken. You need that caramelization. Trust me, you want it in your life. Oh my god. That's awesome. We'll close the lid again for a little while. Mm -hmm. Alright, I've got that pretty much sealed up how I like it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move it over to the cooler side of the oven and let that cook on through now uh, off the direct heat take it away from the direct flame and let that cook on through and you can stack it up a little bit on that side I'll tell you for why because you want to save some of them juices let them drip through to the other, part, other bits check that out Too high. All right, 
I've shut the lid and let that carry on cooking for a bit. I think all in all, cooking time wants to be somewhere around about 30, 40 minutes. Um, it depends exactly on how big, big uh, you've cut the chicken pieces. I get normally about 12, 13, something like that, pieces out of a chicken. Um, but the larger the pieces, generally the longer you'll need to cook it. I'm going to shut that ever so slightly to about half and we'll see what that turns out like. Okay, the gravy's cooked, that chicken is done and I am hungry. Feast your eyes on that. If you want some of this, get yourself down to Taste of Trini from the link below and get yourself some of this. Yum, yum. <laughs>